in a few minutes I will uh, get on a boat to uh, get uh, uh, close to uh, those uh, icebergs that you see uh, behind uh, behind me so this is uh, this area is called Yuko Sarlon in, uh, in Iceland it's a uh, it's a really really beautiful uh, beautiful area to uh, explore This is the parking lot for the uh, ice uh, ice lagoon here in Iceland, in uh, south uh, east uh, uh, part of the uh, country, and the parking is free. And this is where you uh, you get the ticket for uh, for the boat. Uh, if you want to get uh, closer to the iceberg, you need to get uh, one of those uh, zodiac uh, boat. And this is what uh, I'm gonna do uh, today. I uh, I booked my ticket online, but even if you book the ticket online, you need to go to the uh, to the office and uh, and uh, ask for a printout of your ticket. And now uh, let me uh, let me walk around the area and show you, so you get familiar with the whole area. There is a public restroom up ahead over there, and there is a small cafeteria uh, up there. So uh, let me uh, let me walk there and show you before I. Uh, before I go to the iceberg uh, uh, to show you the iceberg uh, view and let's see uh, let's see over there is the uh, you see that boat uh, the one that you see up there that's not the one that I'm gonna take uh, actually the one that I'm gonna take is the uh, is the zodiac uh, boat basically a small uh, a small uh, boat that uh, can carry only six people or uh, I don't know, or maybe 10 or 6 people, you will see it later, it will be an, an uh, experience unlike any other experience I've ever had. You see where this line is, over here? This is where you uh, claim your uh, ticket that you bought online, or, or if you want to buy a ticket on spot, you can do it here, but it's not guaranteed that you, you will uh, get uh, get uh, a ticket because sometimes they're all uh, sold out and here is the uh, cafeteria not a cafeteria it's a, a shop a small store and up there is the uh, they, they, they sell uh, fast food and all that kind of stuff and uh, and now let's let's walk uh, let's walk to the uh, to the ice lagoon and uh, show you the uh, show you the whole thing you see this is the boat now uh, it's gonna go this way uh, that the, but my boat uh, will leave from not from this spot it will leave from the other spot the small ones uh, leave uh, from uh, depart from another uh, section and before you uh, before you board uh, the boat uh, you have to wear uh, the uh, life uh, you know the, the life uh, jacket and here is the uh, there is the the view uh, there is the view waiting for you you see you know you are uh, you are exploring now Iceland alongside me and here is a uh, today is a very very beautiful day and it's kind of uh, warm too in the morning it was a little bit chilly you see that one uh, that boat zodiac boat that's the one that i'm gonna take and uh hopefully i can get all the way close to the uh, to the iceberg as you can walk uh, there is another uh, i can walk up maybe the view is better from up uh, up ahead or you i can go this way it looks like it looks like uh, there are more uh, icebergs that uh, that way so let's go uh, let's go that way and the uh, this area is very uh, it's a very popular area as you can see you see a lot of people out and about and that's because uh, across the bridge over there there is a, a beautiful uh, beach called diamond uh, diamond beach and uh, later I will uh, 
I will go I will go there and uh, do another video and here is the uh, what a beautiful uh, what a beautiful uh, uh, view such an amazing uh, and here you see this guy is uh, sitting up there you see maybe I should do the same and a lot of people are uh, you know bringing uh, their uh, advanced cameras and taking photos this this uh, place is uh, is perfect uh, if you uh, if you do the uh, the ring road uh, trip if you're driving around the uh, the uh, the island uh, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, counter uh, clockwise or clockwise uh, uh, trip and uh, it's called the ring road trip that means you're driving uh, uh, you're driving the whole uh, ring road around the island and uh, you're gonna drive uh, over that bridge over there and that is where this location is uh, you know as soon as you see that bridge that means you are uh, you are around this area and it's very very popular place you won't uh, miss it and I will uh, try to walk a little bit further to uh, to see if the view is better and I'm wondering if uh, those icebergs never melt because today is uh, is a little bit uh, warm and uh, yesterday was uh, chilly and I see people going all the way to the other uh, to the other uh, you see that trail it, that will take you to the uh, to the diamond uh, beach but I will do uh, I will do that later so now I'm gonna go all the way up I'm gonna hike all the way up there there is a uh, some kind of uh, viewing platform so uh, we I will go there and I will let you uh, I will let you see it for yourself and here uh, let me show you something here this is the name of the uh, this place you know it says that it's this this basically this is the uh, the largest uh, glacial uh, lake in uh, in Iceland well this is a new fact I just learned now let's go uh, let's go uh, climb up to that uh, to that viewpoint I just uh, just got to the top here and uh, I'm not sure if the view is better from this uh, spot but I will let you uh, see it for yourself and you judge you know it's still uh, it's still beautiful though and uh, the trail continues you go down that way so uh, so depending on uh, you know uh, how much time you have you know if you have plenty of time in your hand when you are in this uh, location you can uh, just walk all the way you know you can walk all the way there and uh, enjoy uh, enjoy this uh, beautiful view you know if you uh, if you want to if you want to try uh, if you want to avoid the crowd I would say just uh, just keep walking and uh, and the further you walk uh, the less people you see along your way so the uh, the boat uh, tour will start in about 30 minutes so I will just uh, sit down here on uh, one of those rocks and just uh, enjoy uh, enjoy the view for 30 minutes and I I will get back to you uh, when the tour starts uh, so uh, so just uh, stick with me till the end it will be a beautiful beautiful day in a few minutes I will uh, get on a boat to uh, get uh, uh, close to uh, those uh, icebergs that you see uh, behind uh, behind me I'm ready for the boat tour now at the meeting point is here here this is where you check in
there's one right by the dog. If you don't like dogs, don't mind. If you like dogs and he's barking at you, he wants attention. He does not bite. Uh, uh, um, so, you need to take off your shoes, put on the suits, put your shoes back on. If the suit is uncomfortable or it doesn't fit, just let me know and I'll get you another one. If it is a little bit wet, it's because it was raining all day yesterday and some of them are still a little bit, forgive the word, moist. Uh, most common questions. Yes, I do recommend taking off your thicker layers. It is really hot outside and the suits are really warm. Yes, you can take your backpacks with you on the tour or you can store them here. You can also leave your jackets here. Yes, you still have time to put your uh, jackets or bags in your car if you prefer, but you only have about five or ten minutes, so I recommend doing that before checking in. And yes, you can take your cameras with. Yes, there are pockets on the suits for the phones. Any questions? <laughs> Great, who's first? Okay. You see, they force everybody to wear a mask and see what I am wearing now. They, uh, they give you a suit to, uh, to wear and a life jacket and everything, you see. Amazing. So, uh, so this is uh, during the pandemic. So if you uh, come after the pandemic, you won't have to wear a mask. Okay, so these are the life jackets they will be wearing. We have the red and blue ones. We have the solid red ones. The solid red ones are smaller. That's for the smaller size people. They go on the same way. You want the red and blue side front and the side with the red flat top facing your body. Put them on very simply like a backpack solid strap on your back uh, on the back of your neck preferably underneath the hood of your suit long straps over your torso there are silver buckles on both sides one black in the middle one with a hole in the middle take the one that is black in the middle behind the bigger one and through the hole and it should be top should not come apart I know that these can be a little bit white, that is okay, because on your back there's a strap that goes between your legs and into the buckle on the right hand side. On the solid red ones, it's up the left. Right next to the buckle, there's this red strap shaped thing. Do not pull on it, it inflates the last jacket. <laughs> Don't have to do that unless you're in the water. Markus, I'm one of your captains, uh, going in three separate boats. I'm just going to tell you a bit, uh, these suits you are wearing, they are flotation suits, so they float in the water and they might keep you warm a little bit in cold waters. They are regulation, they're not trying to fry you. <laughs> so, uh, and also on the top of that you have these life jackets. Now they should inflate automatically in the water, but if for some reason they don't, then you have a red droplet. It's on either side of the vest. Yeah, it's a plastic bubble. You just have to pull that. It's not now. Uh, just know where it is, just in case. Also, in these suits, you have great pockets for storing your phone. Just make sure you're using the Velcro pockets that can be closed, because uh, there's a pocket behind the Velcro pocket. It's a don donation pocket. So as soon as you sit down, your phone is going to join all the other phones. Which one? Uh, we're going to walk to the boat about four minutes away. Just uh, follow us, and we can get started. All right. Really? Not this one? Is it the same? Yeah, I mean, this one I don't have down. Okay, so this one Uh, sick uh, too on the boat? Oh no! No? Only out in the ocean when it's really. <laughs> oh, we'll find out now. So oh, this isn't. I hope. This is nothing. It's nothing, huh? This All is right. flat. 
make me feel better now. Okay. You get seasick? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. What's going on here? It works. Good. Good. <laughs> we don't have to row. Paddle. Oh I tried once, it's terrible. <laughs> So you just send the people in to go tow yeah. it? Everybody Swim. kick. Everybody kick. 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 <laughs> it just goes to the back and does this with the feet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, guys. Let's start this party. Everyone understands English, right? Yeah. So, as you probably know, we're going to go all the way to the glacier. Problem. It is far. There's seven kilometers to there. Extra problem. There's a lot of ice. The solution to the first problem is to speed. And that's a problem for the second thing, which is crashing into everything. It happens. All right? There's a lot of chances that we're going to hit some of these small pieces, especially the transparent ones. I'm telling you this because when we're speeding, if we hit some piece of ice right on the front and you're standing up, you're going to fly. So it's important that while the boat goes fast, you remain seated and holding something. No seat or belts? Someone. No seat belts? The rope. Yeah. Oh, the rope. Just, uh, just, just hold the rope. Grab on her. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's fine because there's no waves, so it's really easy. But just be aware of that. When the boat is low, though, if you need to stand up, it's fine. Don't mind. I'm not going to accelerate if someone is standing. All right. All right, well, let's see how we're going to get out of here, first of all. Ah, we're gonna just like open. Okay. Okay, the first goal, goal of our mission is to go to the biggest iceberg over there.
you can you can imagine that that tip of the iceberg thing that people say is actually quite quite a huge iceberg. Not the biggest one that we ever seen. The biggest one that we ever seen it was 150. That was crazy. Two was awesome. But now this one is probably at the verge of collapsing. Because you see that the middle part is kind of it's like a gap. Now that collapsed a few days ago. Meaning that most likely what's going to happen here is that this iceberg is going to split in two. And the moment it happens, it's going to be a lot of fun right from this distance. That's why we don't get too close to it. See that you see these lines on the very bottom? These red lines? Each of these lines is one step on the iceberg rotation. So every time that uh, a piece of the iceberg falls off, there's a change in the balance and the iceberg corrects itself. The issue is that eventually, and this happens to like the vast majority of the iceberg rotation, eventually it's going to reach a three fold where it, the balance is not going to be balanced anymore and it's just going to flip completely and the top will become the bottom. And it gets really valuable right now. Of course it's a show, but it's going to be this case. And as it flips, it's going to collapse like the building. I just saw you get the idea. The day that these icebergs collapse, I'm probably going to get the day off. Because this whole area is going to get just completely packed with ice. That's how violent it gets. We're gonna hit a lot of these small pieces, okay? Don't worry. Alright, where are we? Now we're gonna turn around like this and we're gonna go north to a place that there's a lot of icebergs and very beautiful. So I'm gonna speed to that place and then we're gonna take it easy bit, okay? Alright. So now we're gonna sail for about Three kilometers. Full speed.
down, maybe we'll get a lot come back in. We can come to come in. Yeah. And after that we're gonna see something even cooler than our parking spot. So I'm even turning off the engine here so feel free to stand up. There's nothing much more that you can do except swimming. But I'm not, not gonna stop. <laughs>
because I have to fill up the boats. I'm not going to go back with you. So you just follow my friends over there, okay? I just uh, finished the tour and I uh, and that uh, was uh, quite uh, a good experience unlike any other experience I've ever had in my uh, in my life uh, anyway I shared uh, the whole thing uh, with you and uh, just one more thing uh, if you uh, if you have uh, if you get uh, seasick uh, you might uh, reconsider this uh, 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 high-speed uh, Zodiac uh, boat because uh, you know you might uh, get uh, nausea or something like that but I was fine I was uh, I was fine but uh, the uh, it can go up to uh, 60 kilometers per hour and it's, it was very very fast anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the uh, whole experience and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Diamond Beach just across the street the other side and I will uh, keep that uh, in a separate video for now uh, have uh, have a good day bye bye for now